Well, it's over. Time waits for no one. Time waits for no one. I'm Pierre Picot. I've been here in the United States since the age of 12, uh, when I came over from France. Started working as a graphic designer. Um, but the uh, art bug couldn't be shaken. And as a result, I got to show my work in a lot of places, into galleries, into museums. And uh, now we're about to embark on a new journey. Uh, we're about to leave the United States and go back to France. <laughs> Well, in uh, 2006, I received the opportunity to go back to France and teach in Brittany. And I took off in the forest that was right across the street. I went into this amazing place and I would draw every day. I would just draw and do what we might call studies of the forest. So once I started doing that, the more ambitious I became. So this is uh, probably my most ambitious drawing. And uh, it uses a ton of improvised drawing techniques, from pure stippling to fine brushing and draw a hundred strokes in one go. Everything's kind of in constant flux and it's like a call and answer, call and response technique. So from this big drawing I went on and did this painting here. But the painting is completely different than drawing using color as opposed to black and white and therefore like colors will call out other colors or red will call out a green that defies logic. I'll use a palette knife to scrape the paint on and just mix the paint right on the canvas and because it's canvas it'll do strange things and unexpected things. So I immersed myself in this place in the most, in the most natural way. And I've really never left the forest behind. Well, besides being a, an artist and a professor, uh, I also have been organizing for the last year and a half these events of one work by one artist on one yellow wall. One of the reasons why I started doing this uh, about a year and a half ago, I walked in and I noticed this blank wall and I thought, let's do a show. And we've been showing artists every two weeks uh, ever since. I asked myself, why be an artist or what's it about? And certainly there's a tremendous amount of satisfaction in being in the studio and making wonderful things. But one of the uh, other aspects of satisfaction that creeps into being an artist sort of sends me back to the first time I was ever in a group show. And I was going to see my work up in the context of a real public. And what would that be like? Well, it turned out that I really loved it. And I have to say, I also really loved the fact that I was getting strokes. People were seeing me, not just as Pierre Picot the guy, but all of a sudden it was Pierre Picot the artist. <laughs> I remember in the late 90s, and all hell was breaking loose. Yugoslavia was breaking up. Here I was working in my studio, or, and I felt, in the words of uh, somebody like Philip Guston, who said, you know, I'd be going down to my studio one day, and the, the things that I was concerned with were, how will this blue look next to this red? And I thought, the world is breaking up all around me. 
uh, the Ku Klux Klan is running rampant and I'm worrying about two colors next to one another. Now I felt something very similar and I felt like I need to do something. Uh, I need to be uh, involved with people like uh, Doctors Without Frontier, you know, placing myself in a dangerous situation. Well, maybe that's a passage in life that I have to go through in order to come out eventually, hopefully, safely as a better artist, as a stronger artist, or maybe not as an artist. But, you know, the confusion is really what leads us to clarity. Well, you know, I think it's, it's time for me to go.